Hi guys, this is Mallow here, and I'm bringing you another game review. And today I am reviewing the game Dungeon Siege Throne of Agony on the uh, PSP. Um, now, Dungeon Siege Throne of Agony is a dungeon crawler, um, as seen by the name. And uh, in the game, you pick as one of three characters: uh, the w the warrior, the mage, or the rogue. And then, uh, when you pick that character, you get a choice of a follower, and the followers vary between characters and have a lot of uh, help in a fight. Now, let's talk about the good points of this game. Um, a good point of uh, Dungeon Siege Throne of Agony is the combat. Um, it's repetitive, and it is a button masher, but it does get the job done in this type of game. And, I don't know, I just thought it was simple, easy to use, and I, I liked it. Um, another, uh, good point about this game is its character creation, and I say that with quotation marks, because it's not really the character crea creation that we all know, where you pick a guy, uh, you pick your person, you pick their gender, their name, and everything, and how they look, which you can't do in this game, you just pick the class, and that's that. But, what you can do is, you pick up different types of equipment and weapons, which you use to, ca uh, customize your character with, and, uh, and you don't just pick up one suit of armor and there it is. Um, but you can customize like I want this helmet, I want this armor, I want these gloves. Which, I, I mean this isn't a new concept, it's used in many many games. But I just thought in this type of dungeon crawler it was nice to see variety. And also it was nice to see where you have the armor on but it still doesn't change the look of your character. Which I actually... Uh, see a lot in dungeon crawlers. Um, I, I normally don't play a whole lot of dungeon crawler games, but whenever I do, like especially in old games, I will see uh, you put a suit of armor on, but it doesn't change the look of your character, which I always hated. Now, on to some of the bad points of this game. Um, a lot of things I hated about this game were um, more than anything, the load times, they are awful. You you load after going into every single area, and it's just so long. And even sometimes I've had the game crash on me. And they just really take you out of the experience, and it just gets me frustrated with this game. And uh, some of the, lo the load times got me even a little bit more frustrated than some of the boss battles did. Another down point of this game, which it's not really a big down point, but it's a small gripe, is that when you die, you have to start at the very beginning of the level, which I can understand, but it also is kind of annoying when you're fighting through and you get far into a dungeon and then die and have to start all the way over, which I understand, but then when you start over, sometimes there aren't enemy, any enemies to fight anyway, so you just have to walk all the way back there, which really makes no sense, and defeats the purpose. And I'm not saying that the whole level should just start over when you die, but I'm just saying have a little more variety with the deaths, or at least just spawn at the nearest checkpoint or nearest new area. Uh, that Just something like that to mix up mix it up so that you don't die and either have to fight the same enemies all over again or die and have to just walk all the way back. I, this isn't a big problem but it is a small gripe which kind of annoyed me throughout the game. A third down point to this game is its story. Um, and really it's not really a down point. I didn't think it was much of a problem but it's just the lack of a story. So it doesn't decrease from the overall uh, point of the game. It just would be better if there was some story. There are cutscenes at the beginning of each act, but really, I didn't even pay attention to them. I really didn't care for the story whatsoever, even if there is one. Really, I just found that it was a bunch of quests and that I'm just walking around doing stuff. And uh, this might turn out to be a quick review, but there's pretty much, for me, not a lot to talk about this game. It's it's just, I mean, it's a solid dungeon crawler with uh, good armor uh, equipment mechanics and a good combat system that gets the job done. Annoying load times, gripes with death, and a lack of story, but that's pretty much it with this game. Um, normally, I would give this game like a 7.5 out of 10, 
but with the low times and how much they pissed me off throughout the game, the f my final uh, rating for this game is a 6 out of 10. That's it for this game review. Please comment, rate, and subscribe. See you later.